This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and a little bit more intense. But first, I'm going to need to catch you up and get you to Colorado. just even walking through this hallway. And it doesn't help that I'm reading my study guide here. <laughs> it's got all the different experiences and different rooms that have happened. You're shaking. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is where it all started. Oh, you guys found it. Yeah. We're staying here. You're staying in there? Yeah. Is there a peek inside? Yeah, totally. Can we take a peek? Yeah, we're about to look in for the first time. <laughs> We charge people for tours. <laughs> <laughs> so we're staying in Tucson, team, like $10 ahead. <laughs> Pictures are $5 extra. This is... <gasps> That's so cool. Here we go, the holy grail. Hey, Bubba, Dr. Sleep! Like, this started he here. All right, so two days ago, Warner Brothers sent us to a private screening for Stephen King's Dr. Sleep. If you've never heard of Dr. Sleep, it continues the story of Danny Torrance after his terrifying stay at the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. Growing up, The Shining was one of my favorite movies, so I was so excited to see where the storyline went from there. I know, me too. It was too. so good. It was so cool how Dr. Sleep tied into The Shining. Seamlessly. Yeah, it was its Seamless. own story, but the way it all worked out was almost like he wrote both stories at the same exact time. What we didn't know is that Danny has the shine. And what that is, is a supernatural power gift, gift that He's he was gift, born with. Right. He can basically telepathically communicate with other people that have the shine. There's a lot that goes into it and I don't want to give too much away because it's such an interesting, cool story. So um, Dr. Sleep, continuing from that, is him yeah. grown up now and still dealing with that gift and how he does deal with right. it. Right. Without giving too much away, he had that power, he suppressed it, and this is him rekindling his shine. There's another character in the movie named Abra and she's oh, a young, her. like, spunky, cool, uh, just, Teen. yeah, she has the shine as well and she's figuring out how to use it and discovering what exactly the gift that she has is. So she gets in contact with Danny and they become like a dream team duo pair and they're both trying to face fears yeah and help each other out while the bad group the true knot they are trying to steal their shine by literally sucking the life out of them. Yeah. It's just cool to see Danny then and now from the shining to now Dr. Sleep and how he got his name Dr. Sleep. Having this troubled adult life and how he's dealing with it is just so mesmerizing. It's yeah. so good. So throughout the movie he's finding his purpose and he basically has to dare to go back to the Overlook Hotel where everything happened and started all the trauma for him as he was a kid. When I was a kid, there was a place. A dark place. They closed it down and let it rot. But the things that live there... Hello, Danny. They come back. So why are we here? At the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. We are in room 217, which is very iconic. Stephen King stayed here in 1974. He was sleeping in here with his wife and he woke up to a nightmare of his son being strangled. To cool himself down and relax, he went outside to the balcony to have a cigarette by the time he was done with the cigarette, he had the entire outline and plot of The Shining. This place inspired him to write it. Now, to be clear, it wasn't filmed here, right. but- You could just see exactly where he got the inspiration from. And on top of it, a little little cherry on top, it is very haunted overall. Yeah, so we thought it'd be really cool to come back to basically the roots of where 
all of this started for Dr. Sleep and tying everything back full circle and yeah. making it all make sense. We love stuff like that. We just love yeah. like the nostalgia of it. It's very eerie, but it's very, very cool. So if Danny can dare to go back to the Overlook Hotel and face his fears, I think we could dare to come here. That movie made me feel so brave. Yeah. I wanted to do everything. Like oh I felt fearless afterwards. I was like, I, I am not afraid of anything. Alright guys, so we're going to go embrace our shine and go be fearless. And go explore. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. What are you doing? <laughs> Many housekeeping events happen in this room. Guests have reported returning to their room after dropping off their bags and finding their luggage has been unpacked for them. Other guests have also reported their shoes being lined up neatly on the end of the bed. The lady that haunts this room, her name is Mrs. Wilson, and she was the maid. She passed away. She comes back to this room. Uh -huh. And she's the one that cleans up after everybody. She's a nice ghost. Let me thank her for her services before we head out. I'm pretty sure thank you comes after. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. No. I want to walk to the store. <laughs> no. Yeah, we have to be like Danny. That's the point. You're right, you're right. Oh my, you're the Danny to my eyebrow. <laughs> oh, slow down. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Wait, who's in our room? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, that. What the hell was that? No, that is our room because we have the balcony. Yeah, but the balcony's the last window. Oh, stop. stop! I don't like that. We're so brave. One day this maze is gonna look like. Yeah, it's gonna be tall. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Stop! Don't start with again. This whole area is. Scary. Where's the store? This looks like it leads to absolutely. <laughs> I, I, there's not even like a shop. There's no lights. Yeah. It says we're almost we're three minutes away. Nine hundred feet. <laughs> Doesn't it look like we're running from the Overlook Hotel? Yeah, kind of. Like we made it out. It does exist. Story time. Funny story about that. <laughs> Less than a year ago, a bear, black bear. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through the lobby. I don't know how, but there's a video of it here. We're gonna put it in. But they just came walking through, hanging out by the couches, jumping up on top, walking making through. himself at home, like, just relaxing. Imagine being the person working at the desk, like working the graveyard shift, and you're just like this. You're like, next. <laughs> Far so good. Any update? She didn't write back. Your pen pal sucks. <laughs> We're getting all worked up for nothing. What? You okay? You hear me out. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna make me cry. Why are you freaking out? <laughs> Remember when I took the pictures for my Instagram story and I took out just the two um, books, The Shining and Dr. Sleep? Not really, kind of. Why? I swear, I swear I didn't put them back. I swear. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, on the corner. Yeah. Did I put, I don't think I did. Are they in there though? These. I do remember oh that, Oh my yeah. god, I swear. I swear. I'm gonna cry. All right guys, so if you are interested in seeing Stephen King's Doctor Sleep, go watch the final trailer now and remember to get your tickets. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you again, Warner Brothers, for sending us to see Doctor Sleep and giving us this opportunity to come out here and experience what we experienced the last 24 hours. It's been insane. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I just want to give a big thank you again to Warner Brothers for making this possible. And I thought this would be a fun way to take Dr. Sleep and tie it into The Shining. Thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick little disclosure. Um, the books did not actually put themselves away. Uh, I did that just to have a little something kind of spooky for the video. Um, we did hear a lot of 
creepy noises and it was kind of scary, um, but no, nothing paranormal like that happened. I can't blatantly lie to you guys. I just didn't want you guys thinking that I made something up. And also, if you did believe it, I didn't want that either. But yeah, it was kind of creepy. And if you guys want to stay there, I highly recommend it. It was an experience. Uh, but yeah, I just had to be honest and I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.